Gilidanda is an amateur sport played in the rural areas and small towns all over Bangladesh, India, Nepal, Afghanistan and Pakistan as well as Cambodia and Italy. The game is played with two sticks, a large one called a danda, which is used to hit a smaller one, the gilly. Gilly danda is known by various other names, it is called Tibkat in English, Dandi Bayo in Nepali, Alak Dulak in Persian, Da Ngga plus or minus Li in Bengali and the same as, Chini Dandu in Canada, Kuti Im Kolam in Malayalam, Viti Dandu AAA currency Yen a currency Yen Euro AAA currency AAN in Marathi, Kitty Pal in Tamil, Guti Bila or Karabila or Bilam Godu in Telugu, Gully Danda, A. A copyright AAAA copyright Euro AAAA in Punjabi, Giti Dana in Nsindi, Lapadagi. In Pashto, Kanko in Khmer, the Cambodian language, Parthal Leal in Bahasa Indonesia, Satang in Tagalog and Orfitu in Ilongo dialect of Philippines. Gili Danda is an ancient sport of India, possibly with origins over 2500 years ago. It is believed to be the origin of Western games such as cricket baseball and softball. Rules. Gilly danda is played with two pieces of equipment, a danda, being a long wooden stick, and a gilly, a small oval-shaped piece of wood. Standing in a small circle, the player balances the gilly on a stone in an inclined manner with one end of the gilly touching the ground while the other end is in the air. The player then uses the danda to hit the gilly at the raised end, which flips it into the air. While it is in the air, the player strikes the gilly, hitting it as far as possible. Having struck the gilly, the player is required to run and touch a pre-agreed point outside the circle before the gilly is retrieved by an opponent. This aspect of the game is similar to runs in cricket or home runs in baseball. There is no official maximum number of players or teams. Gilly dander can be played where each individual plays for themselves, or between two teams. Equals scoring and outs equals, the gilly becomes airborne after it is struck. If a fielder from the opposing team catches the gilly, the striker is out. If the gilly lands on the ground, the fielder closest to the gilly has one chance to hit the dander with a throw. If the fielder is successful, the striker is out. If not, the striker scores one point and gets another opportunity to strike. The team with the most points wins the game. If the striker fails to hit the gilly in three tries, the striker is out. After the gilly has been struck, the opposing players need to return to the circle or, in the best case, catch it in mid-air without its hitting the ground, this was believed to have later evolved into a catch-out in cricket and baseball. Equals skills needed equals, this traditional Indian game requires exceptional hand-eye coordination, ability to catch and strong wrists. Variations as an amateur youth sport, Gilly Danda has many regional variations. In some versions, the number of points a striker scores depends on the distance the gilly falls from the striking point. The distance is measured in terms of the length of the danda, or in some cases the length of the gilly. Scoring also depends on how many times the gilly was hit in the air in one strike. If it travels a certain distance with two mid-air strikes, the total points are doubled. If the gill is not struck far enough the player has to pick it up and try again. Similar games, in Azerbaijan, a similar game is called Ilananawak. In Galissa, a similar game is called Bilhorda. In Catalonia and the Valencian community, a similar game is called BA squared liter. Philippines, a game known as Satan or Peti Cabra in Morong, Rizal is similar to Gilly Danda. In Italy a similar game known as Lipa, Lipe, Tirolo, or S. Chianco is shown in the movie Watch Out, We're Mad. In the United States, a similar game is called Pee Wee. Dainty is a street ball game played in Schnitzelberg, Louisville, in the United States. In England, a similar game was called Tip Cat. In Poland a similar game is known, called Klipper. In Malaysia a similar game is known as Konda Kondi. In Russia a similar game is known as Shazhik. In Slovenia a similar game is known as Pandalo. In popular culture, in 2014 Viti Dandu a sport drama Marathi movie was made on the same sport produced by Ajay Devan and Leena Dior. The Bollywood movie Lagine mentions the traditional youth sport of Gilly Danda as being similar to cricket.
the Hindi writer Prem Chand wrote a short story named Gilly Dander in which he compares old simple times and emotions to modern values and also hints at caste inequalities in India. The protagonist and narrator of the story recounts his inability to play Gilly Dander well in his youth. He remembers a friend who could literally control the Gilly as he wished. He goes away and comes back as an adult and a government officer. He searches for his old friend and finds him, he is very poor and says, where do we get the time? When asked by the protagonist whether he plays Gilly Dander, the protagonist convinces him to play, he cheats at every opportunity, but his friend meekly submits, even though he would not have let him get away with such deceit in his youth. After being defeated, the friend invites him to a Gilly Dander match the next day. The protagonist is shocked when he sees his friend play just as well as before and realizes that he had indulged him because he knew that he had forgotten the basics of Gilly Dander. The protagonist feels very small and goes back to the city humiliated. See also, Backyard Cricket, Pichu Garam, also known as Pithafod or simply Pithu, Coco, Pindi. References Eight Cheese Man. External links How to play Gilly Dander, Seven Games of India in the 6th century BC, Watch Gilly Dander being played, Watch a Gilly Dander tournament, Lipa, S. Chianko.